Yo, what's going on guys, Professor here, back again with another video. In the video guys, I'm going to be doing something completely different. I'm currently on my mini account, so I'm currently, you can call it on mid ladder in this account. So I'm going to be playing some mid ladder games and to uh, give you guys a tip about how to beat mid ladder players and how to escape mid ladder. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and sub and also make sure to skip, uh, stick to till the end of the video because I'm going to be sharing some really important tips so make sure not to miss any of them so on the first game facing this guy free the gun he's level 12 one level higher than me and oh my goodness what on earth is this guy's running i want to pop the ability i have to do i have to do i have to pop the ability otherwise i'm gonna be pretty much dead i guess like i'm fine over here yeah pretty much okay i'm gonna go royal hawks because he spent a lot of elixir and he's like super low right now and oh my god he even got brilliance okay it's fine i guess i'll just go zap him it should be pretty much okay so yeah he was super low at the legs over there and yeah one thing about these players are uh, is that they always play super aggressive they always spend all of their elixir on one push and they're gonna be super low and they cannot defend so one thing is that try to punish your opponents once they're down elixir, once you see that they're spamming a lot of troops, uh, make sure to, uh, to first of all defend pretty well and get positive elixir trade and then try to uh, punish them on offense. So, and you can do that by counting elixir. If you guys uh, don't know how to count elixir, you can use basically use another phone. You can yeah, ju just take another phone, make another account on it like a mini account or something like that and add your main account and then you could basically spectate yourself and that way you're gonna know how much elixir your enemy has that's how i started uh learning elixir counting at the start so yeah you can definitely use that and it's gonna help you out a lot i'm gonna air that skeleton army so he's gonna get forced to play something and yeah, just like that we defend it again clean i'm gonna fire all those zappies as well i'm gonna go pigs and there's no way for this guy to stop this because he has literally no elixir right now yeah he wasted the barbs as well so yeah that's pretty much ggs and game over so yeah as i said try to pay uh, get another phone and spectate yourself and count your enemy elixir like that and try to learn elixir counting because it's super important especially in the mid ladder so yeah this game is pretty much over so yeah, we'll take the win right there, I guess. Yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next match. I'm on the next game here, facing Leonidas. So, let's see who's he playing. Gonna, he is running also Dagger Duchess. Okay, he gave us skeletons. This is the first guy that I've faced that have Dagger, uh, I mean, Evolution. I've faced a lot of players, and they were not running any Evos. Which is quite weird for me. I, I don't know how you guys, how these guys haven't, don't have, okay, bro. What is this? Like, you guys can see, these dudes just spam, yeah, he has no elixir. I'm gonna just fireball that, um, princess, and he's basically dead right now. He's gonna lose the tower, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's gonna zap, he has, like, zero elixir. I'm gonna just barbarian barrel, and barbarian barrel is gonna take down the right-hand lane tower. And the left-hand lane tower is also down, so, yeah, as you guys can see, they just spam everything at the bridge they do not care and then that's that's what happens like when you know when you know how to count elixir this is what happens you're gonna know that when your enemy is down on elixir and then you're gonna punish them straight up for their mistake so as i said one of the most important tips that i can give you is to know how to elixir count how to uh, count elixir and to do that to start learning that make sure to use another phone a second phone to spectate yourself it's not uh you know illegal or you know it's not against rules or whatsoever it's completely okay to do that you're not gonna get banned or whatsoever so yeah make sure to do that to start off learning and i guess i don't know if i were bro princess at the bridge wow okay i'm gonna board oh no wait i missed yeah they oh no way he was skeletons he, he zapped as well, bro. Okay, I'm gonna fireball the evil skeletons. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna fireball now to hit all of them. And look at the one Barbarian is basically tree crowning him. Uh, okay. I guess I'm gonna just go pigs. And then that should be pretty much GG's. I'm gonna go cage because I'm pretty sure, yeah, he's gonna go Warwickers. That was quite obvious. 
and now I'm gonna just go for my pigs and then I'm gonna arrows as well and that's GG so yeah we'll take the win right there and I'll see you guys in the next match I'm on the next game here facing uh, the GUI top 97 so let's see what he's playing and this guy this guy's level 10 wow this guy's one level lower but he got level 12 which wow okay and yeah another thing about uh in the mid, about mid ladder is that always oh my goodness wait a second i'm gonna pop the building i'm gonna barbaro and i should be okay uh i'm gonna go recruit okay this guy's super low on elixir bro what was that barrel how is he gonna defend this now <laughs> uh he's gonna go for i want to arrow that skeleton right but i don't want to do it because i'm gonna be down elixir so yeah i want to keep my elixir he's gonna go firecracker it's fine i'm gonna try to activate the king tower i'll go zaps now oh no the firecracker got kind of you know how whatsoever so yeah the first other thing that I want to mention is that always try to play something that you have it uh, upgraded. Try to play a deck that you have it upgraded. Try not to play the meta decks and stuff like that when you're in mid ladder because that's not going to work out pretty well for you guys. Unless you have them maxed out or upgraded. Otherwise, do not try to play like meta met draw decks or stuff like that because it's not going to work out pretty well in the mid ladder. And this guy gave up, so yeah, I guess... Yeah, we'll take the win, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next match. I'm on the next game here, facing Loco, so let's see what he's playing. Gonna start the game by playing my Barbaro on top of that. Is the Barbaro gonna kill that princess? Wow, it did. My Barbaro is level 14. I used to upgrade this deck, like, back in the day when there were, like, no evolution. There was not, uh, level 15. The max level was level 14. I had two accounts. And I used to play both of the accounts, even though I was, like, complete ass at the game. I was not super good, to be honest. But, yeah, I had two accounts. And in this account, I, uh, I used to upgrade a Fireball Bait. Because back then, Fireball Bait was, like, one of the best decks. So, in my main account, I used to play Graveyard Freeze. Wait, I'm going to arrow that. And then, going to go Pigs. Yeah, he has literally zero Elixir. Once again, this guy's... Yeah, the cannon was at zero. I'm going to just Fireball that Princess. And he lost, he's gonna, I'm not too sure that he's gonna lose both of the towers, but we're gonna get insane damage. So yeah, and I used to push both of my accounts, like play both of their accounts. At one account, I used to play Grave of Freeze, and the other one, I used to play this Fireball Bait deck. And, and yet, and I got Evo Recruit from the um, Valentine event, because I had this deck upgraded. So yeah, that's why I'm running this deck, because... I have it pretty much upgraded. I have level 14 Barbaro and I have level 13 Recruits. And my low Prince is also level 12. I guess any other card in the deck is just level 11. And my picks are also level 12. So yeah, one of the other most important things, as I said guys, is play something that you have it over leveled. And another most important tip that I got for you guys is to play always patiently. Do not play aggressive against uh against these players you know once you get like for example you defend their push and once you get like a knight on the field going to the to, to, their, to their tower do not spam everything at the back of that knight because they're gonna just go like a mega knight and then they're gonna get like much bigger push and that's where you're gonna lose the game so do not play aggressive play calm play chill and that's one of the most important things that you guys have to keep in mind so and I guess this game is also pretty much over. I don't know why this guy is still trying to. He's trying so hard to defend. I will just keep on laughing on him. And I'm going to keep BMing him because he started BMing. I want to fireball the yeah, e -borbs. I knew he was going to play e -borbs. Yeah, perfect. So yeah, that's GG's. And I'll see you guys in the next match. I'm on the next game here facing... Uh, this guy, so let's see who's playing. And I'm one game away from the next arena. It's called Executioner Kitchen, I guess. So yeah, let's take the win. And let's see what this guy's playing. 
and also one of the other most important tips that i want to give you guys is that try to learn interactions it's super important when you're oh wait 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 oh no why <laughs> one of them went to the tower and this guy raged as well uh we're fine yeah we're pretty much okay so yeah as i was saying one of the other most important things that i want to bro what was that fireball he has nothing for the pigs now i'm gonna go he might go i'm gonna arrow that guards as well anyway because i have to arrow them uh yeah if they reach to my princess tower princess tower is not gonna uh kill them so i have to arrow them anyway whether on defense or offense so it doesn't matter and yeah as i was saying uh, try to learn interactions learning interaction is super important when you're in med ladder and it was also one of the other things that really helped me out uh once i was in mid ladder i used to watch a lot of uh, uh, videos where, where uh youtubers and content creators used to uh talk about tips interactions and stuff like that so i highly recommend you guys to start off uh, watching videos and contents where um uh, yeah, where YouTubers or Clash Royale players describe uh, the interactions and stuff so with the cards. And I also have a series uh, going on. I just started it a week ago. It's called How to Master Cards. And in the series every week, I'll be... Every week on Monday, I'm going to be posting one video uh, explaining the interactions with the cards and stuff. And this guy's way too aggressive, bro. Okay, he cannot defend the pigs now. Yeah, he's gonna go guard some 100% sure, but yeah, I'm gonna take that tower down anyway. That tower is completely dead. So yeah, as I was saying, yeah, I'm um, uploading every Monday. I'm gonna be uploading each one part uh, every Monday, and I'll be explaining reactions with with the cards. And if you're interested, you can check that out as well. And this guy is just going. He's just playing Ebor Lumberjack at the bridge, and he thinks that it's gonna work out. <laughs> okay whatever um so i'm gonna go pigs and i'm gonna fireball as well on top of that oh nice fireball value this game is yeah this is 100 percent over for this guy there's no way for him to win at this point uh yep that is game over i'm gonna just aeros as well and yep ggs really nice one right there against this guy so yeah i'm gonna show you guys my new arena and also uh, if you guys like this uh, type of videos where I play mid ladder matchups and mid ladder games and give you tips, if you guys like this type of video, make sure to let me know in the comment down below. And just like that, we are in Executioner Kitchen Arena 16. And if you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.